Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about how a coffee cup can improve your meetings. Are you ready? Let's get started. Well, you might call this a coffee cup. I would call it a teacup because I don't drink coffee. But either one, coffee or tea, here's the thing. You may say, how is this going to help my meetings get better? Well, it's not about the caffeine. It's about something else. And today we're talking about virtual meetings because right now that's how most of us are meeting. And for a long time into the future, we're going to have more and more of them than ever. So there are some problems that we find in our virtual meetings, right? Let's give you a short list of them. Uh, there's no engagement. Leader tries to get people to say something and nothing happens. There's no engagement. People maybe even be multitasking. Second, there's no participation. So engagement and talking aren't the same thing. And yet many times a leader would really like for people to actually say something and they can't get them to do it, which leads to the third problem, which is you can't get people to speak up. Now there's a longer list of potential problems and frustrations with virtual meetings. But in terms of our coffee cup, it's those three that we want to deal with, right? Now, there's lots of reasons why these things happen. All sorts of reasons. We don't have time in this video to go through all of them. But let me give you four that the coffee cup can help us with, okay? Number one, uh, people don't participate because they're, they have wrong expectations. Some people don't really think they're supposed to speak up. They don't know that it's the expectation that they participate. They just are showing up to the meeting. After all, no one else is participating, so it's the wrong expectation if we want them to participate. Number two, there's a lack of psychological safety. People don't feel safe in sharing something. They may be, they feel they're going to be judged by their teammates. They're worried that whatever they say is not going to be what the boss, that's you, wants to hear. And so for a variety of reasons, psychologically, they may feel like it's just not okay, or it's not safe, or it's not worth it for me to participate. Number three, everyone's waiting for someone else. Now, I've painted a pretty bleak picture up till now, but there are often teams that people do want to engage and they do want to talk, but they don't want to interrupt each other. So everyone, especially in a virtual meeting, everyone's kind of waiting, right? Waiting for someone else to go. And then the last reason is that the leader rushes. They ask a question, they ask for participation, don't get any. They sort of mentally roll their eyes and move on. Well, if they don't give people time and space, they don't have much chance to get the communication, get the participation either, right? Enter the coffee cup. So if I'm facilitating or leading a virtual meeting and I really want the group to engage, I really want the group to participate, I'll ask the question, perhaps I'll put it on a slide, but I'll ask the question and then I'll just pick up my coffee cup look in the camera and take a sip. So what does this do? Well, the first thing it does is it lets people know that, hey, he really wants us to talk. He asked a question, now he's not talking. I can't really talk while I'm putting the tea in my mouth. That's just not good, right? So it shows people that that is my expectation. It shows people that it's safe to share and it keeps me from rushing. Now, the only thing it doesn't do automatically is keep people from wanting to jump in. But I take a sip, looking in the camera, and then if I don't hear anything, I say, so how about someone from the marketing group? What do you all think? And time for another sip. It's a simple little thing. It quenches your thirst, perhaps. But what it really does is this cup can help you create better virtual meetings if you use it just right. Let me close with today's tweet. If you want people to participate in your virtual meeting, ask your question, then take a sip of your coffee while you wait for them to respond. Hopefully you found this tip useful for your virtual meetings. There are hundreds of things that we need to do and learn to do a little differently when we work remotely. So we've created a remote work email series. You can subscribe completely for free to get insights, ideas, and more. When you sign up for that, we'll welcome you with open arms. And we'll welcome you back here 
with open arms next week for another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.